Hello, my name is Martin and welcome to my channel. Here on this channel we always talk about street and documentary photography and its inspiration. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Today we are going to talk about Mary Ellen Mark. Mary Ellen Mark was born and grew up in Philadelphia in 1940s. Studied painting and art history. Worked as a drafter for city office but soon after she realized place of photography in her life and enlisted for a master program in photography. Year after she has received a one year scholarship to document communities in Turkey, where she started her career as a photojournalist, so to speak. It was at that time when she developed great sense of intimacy and ability to portray it in her work. Mary Ellen's career was rich in many assignments for magazines as Life, New Yorker, Rolling Stone and Vanity Fair. As well she has published 17 books, received many awards, grants and her work is hanging in many museums and galleries around the world. And now, free lessons by Mary Ellen Mark. Photograph the world as it is. Nothing's more interesting than reality. Mary Ellen Mark. Be intimate. She was well known to photograph underprivileged in their environment and give them their voice. She has documented turbulent times of 1960s. Feminism, transsexuals, child abuse, drug addiction, opposition to Vietnam War, prostitutes and mental illness. All these subjects were documented by her in great sense of dignity and intimacy as well. Many professionals agree that her photography shows great portion of compassion and understanding for humanity. She very often said that she actually enjoyed being a female photographer as a response to the question if she feel she got less opportunities as her male colleagues. She said that as a female she didn't represent as much of a threat or danger perhaps to her subject. So very often she got acceptance and access. Her vision and sensibility revealed so much of the character in her photograph. Her approach was much more of a human being than of a photographer. I remember the first time I went out on the streets to shoot pictures. I was in downtown Philadelphia and I just took a walk and started making contact with people and photographing them. And I thought, I love this. This is what I want to do forever. There was never another question. Mary Ellen Mark. Decide who is your audience. Mary Ellen's work has certain quality of being understood. She plays with the human condition and emotion. She in her work portrays basic human emotion and situation, almost as all her pictures could be a metaphor. Even though her photographs are far from being abstract and a huge part of her work is shot around the world, we can understand the condition in which protagonists from her pictures find themselves in. She found universal photographic language, so to speak. Even though she has photographed marginalized groups all over the world, there was always one common ground, the base point, which can be accessed by everyone. As Marianne said, what I'm trying to do is make photographs that are universally understood, whether in China or Russia or in America, photographs that cross cultural lines. On the other hand, you can decide to make story about your local community, use metaphors only locals can get. You can choose inverted approach and mention global issue and show its manifest from your local place. But don't choose something in between. Plenty of issues, jokes or metaphors you can be using could be misunderstood. Choose for whose eyes you are shooting for. Be part of your picture. In work style of Mary Ellen there was always connection between her and her subjects. She has always spoken with people in her pictures and with many also afterwards. She kept contact with people she has worked with, which is great human approach. She didn't just enter space of another human being with clear motivation to make photograph and disappear. She was always going for genuine interhuman connection. In this kind of social documentary photography I do, you are never fly on the wall like you are when you photograph a disaster or war and the event is more important than your presence. You are as much a part of a scene as your subject. They never forget you are there. Mary Ellen Mark It's for you to decide. Your presence will have certain effect on the scene, in more intimate environment of course. So it's about how you decide to respond. Mary Ellen went for kind stranger with warm and interested personality. And response of people in her pictures are obvious. She showed us that social documentary should have kind heart, understanding mind and gentle smile. Thank you very much if you made it until end of this video. Hopefully these three lessons inspired you. If you have any suggestion for next artists, feel free to comment down below. As well, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And see you next week. Have a nice day.